What is up, Free to Play Nation? I'm the Free to Play Padawan. I love Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, but I hate spending money on mobile games. And I believe you can dominate this game without even spending a dime. And you guys, we already got Dom in the chat. He says hi, he was first. Brian Thompson says yo, yo. And then GM Dan says yo, yo, what up, Padawan? What is up, my friends? Good to see you guys. Night Snipes in the chat saying hey, what's up, Night Snipe? You guys, it is Friday. We made it to Friday, we made it to the weekend. I hope that you guys have some fantastic plans for the weekend. Please let me know what you're gonna be doing, if you're gonna be doing anything fun, and please let me know what you think about Datacrons. Datacrons is going to be kind of the, the topic that I wanna talk about all throughout the stream today. Each and, any, each and every one of you that feels comfortable sharing, I want to hear how have Datacrons affected your enjoyment of the game? Has it been a positive effect? Has it been a negative effect? Has it not affected you at all because you don't have a lot of teams up that high? Let me know. We got Alex in the chat. Hello everyone. What is up Alex? Visla Valarian says hello there. General Kenobi. What's up? What is up my friend? All right. Well, let's open up with a squad arena battle because I have been having fun playing with my Grievous team. And it's actually working out pretty well to have a very low gear new gun ray. He's gear 10. The rest of these scallywags are up in the relics, and they usually go for newt first, which gives me a free turn and starts my turn meter train running. Brian Thompson says, for the weekend, my plans are beer and Chinese food while re-watching Pokemon Indigo League. That sounds like a good weekend right there. I like that. I like that. Night Snipe says, I can only really use Data Datacrons in Squad Arena. Really? Okay, because only your Squad Arena team has all relics in it? Interesting. Dom says, Datacrons don't affect me at all, and I see barely any in Chromium and Territory War, but I still use them, which helps. So it doesn't really affect you at all, but they're somewhat helpful when you do get to use them. Okay, interesting. So no real effect. So no real effect for Night Snipe, no real effect for Dom. Interesting, okay, thank you for that feedback, you guys. Man, this it started off pretty rough because they went after Magnaguard first. I said they normally go after Newt. All right, let's do an AOE. Hopefully we get some target locks, three target locks. Let's go after somebody who is target locked. We're gonna go after Chewy. All right, every time you do any attack with anybody on your team, you want to be pointing at somebody who has tar is, uh, target lock because your team gets turn meter whenever you hit somebody with target lock and B1 assists on every single ability. Now the, the, re the time where you don't want to hit somebody with target lock is if you it's B1's turn. In this case, it's B1's turn. We're gonna try to apply target lock to a new target who's gonna be CLS. We're going to put a heal over here on B1 and we got the target lock. So now it doesn't matter who we attack. I'm going to go after Chewy because once we kill him, he's going to take the guard off of these other guys. So let's keep going after Chewy. See, we're just getting tons of turn meter. The CLS team is a turn meter team, but the Grievous team is a huge turn meter team. We're getting more turn meter over and over because we're attacking with AoEs. We're attacking these target lock people. Now we're going to go ahead. I'm going to keep the heal over here on our tank, even though B2 is almost dead. If he dies, that is okay because he's going to give Brevis a free turn. Uh, an AoE here is going to hit a lot of target locks, except for he was blinded, so it didn't hit any at all. See if we can get Han Solo out of here. Excellent. Now, CLS is a, is a mean team, and we are just walking over them with this Grievous team, you guys. We are just walking over them. Now, Grievous is damaging his own team, and that's uh, we're also taking damage from them, but we're, we're going to win this fight. Okay, so here we go. B1's turn again. You don't want to focus anybody who's target locked. You want to pick the person who is not target locked. And we're going to keep putting a heal over here on Magnaguard. We did not get the target lock. And there I made a mistake. I did not target somebody with target lock. We're going to do that right here. Target with target lock. If you want assist, we get turn meter. Can we apply more? Yes, we applied more. So now it doesn't matter who we attack because everybody's got target lock. We're just continuing to heal up the team as we continue to decimate their team. And there we go. The Grievous team is fun, you guys. It is fun. 
Night Snipe says, I also don't see any Datacrons in Bronzium 1 and Bronzium 2. Interesting. Interesting. GM Dan says, I like Datacrons, but I haven't really seen the effects. I think that they're more of a factor for endgame players. Interesting. So most of our community is relatively early game into the mid game. So uh, so far, it sounds like it's not having a huge effect on our community, which that's a good thing. Datacrons only become an issue, says Dom, once you get into high erodium, low kyber, or are an extremely high GP guild since those players get enough resources and crystals to get good Datacrons. So Dom is saying that in territory wars, Datacrons would be an issue if you're in a really high-end guild. So that's a good point. That's a good point right there. Interesting, guys. Well, I really appreciate that feedback from you guys. I really do. I wanted to, and I want more. I want more feedback um, because Datacrons are having a big impact on the community, and I believe that they're here to stay, so we need to figure out how to make them work, but to be honest with you guys, it is negatively affecting my enjoyment of the game. I am enjoying the game less since Datacrons came out. Now, I don't like to be negative. You guys know that I like to be very positive. And I don't want this to be the end of the discussion for me where I say I'm not enjoying the game as much since Datacrons. I want to figure out how to enjoy the game with Datacrons. And maybe you guys can help me out with that. But to me, especially as an early game player, you can see what percentage of my roster is able to use datacrons maybe i mean right now we've only got one datacron that we're using because we've only got one fully relic team but let's say we went ahead and put together fully relic teams i think that i could get three there's one two three and a half so three teams could use datacrons which means that datacrons only apply to a very small amount of my roster most of my teams though are mixed with some relics and some not relics and a lot of my roster if you look here a lot of my roster is not in the relics so i can't even use datacrons which means that if i'm going up against an opponent which we often are now this time we're not in grand arena but often we're going against an opponent five six seven million that means that grand arena is even more offset that anybody who has tons and tons of relics let's say they've got four or five datacrons on their defense there's not really anything i can do about that and that makes me feel like some of the power has been taken away from me as an early game free-to-play player that i used to have a chance i used to have an option in these situations um i also am enjoying the game less with datacrons because it feels like up until now, you could understand how your team worked, you can understand how the enemy's team worked, and you could have some kind of expectation of how the fight would go. But now you have a random datacron that is applied, whatever your opponent decides to apply to that team, and that introduces all these new and complex mechanics into what is already a complex game with complex mechanics, and it feels like it's this mountain of stuff to learn and take a lot more time to figure out exactly what's going on. So instead of taking that time to figure out what's going on, I've just decided in Grand Arena just to wing it, which that's not the right way to do it. You know, it can be fun just to wing it, but it's caused me to try less hard and care less about Grand Arena, Territory Wars. I mean, I'm sorry, Lothal. I know I should care and do all my homework, but and I, and I put it on airplane mode in case I screw up or whatever, but I'm actually trying less hard in grand arena now with datacrons involved than i was trying before i'm barely checking speeds anymore i'm just like if we win we win if we lose we lose whatever and so that's really kind of narrowed down the enjoyment of the game for me to be mostly the character building and team building side what i love about this game is building a good team that's why I don't like to stop on a team until I get everybody up to Relic because I like to build good holistic teams right there. So let's catch up on the chat. Um, I don't want to talk too much and let you guys uh, just sit there and not, not say anything about what you guys are saying, but uh, I just wanted to let you guys know what, what's happening with me when it comes to Datacrons and my enjoyment of the game. 
But, you know, when relics came into the game, we all had to adjust. When mods came into the game, we all had to adjust. And I was there for when mods came into the game. I was there when relics came into the game. And, um, you know, when conquest came into the game, most of us were there. And we've had to adjust in each of these things. And this is just another thing we're going to have to adjust to. And I love the game with conquest and relics and mods. I will love the game with Datacrons eventually. I just got to figure out. It's got to settle in. I got to settle in with it. We got to figure out how things are going here. Dom says, since lower players aren't given enough crystals or resources to get the level 9 Datacrons, which is where most people's issues lie. I see what you're saying. Okay. Terabeast is in the chat. Heyo, how's everyone doing today? Terabeast, I'm doing great. It's Friday. It's the weekend. I'm hanging out with you guys. I am doing Great. Night Snipe says, my first full Relic 3 plus team is going to be my uh, Shock T 501st, and all my other teams have core relics and plugged in lower gear units. Yeah, Night Snipe, that's how my roster is as well. A lot of one or two relics on a team with lower gear characters to, to, um, to support. Dom says, I like to bring my entire team to relics, so the not full squads of relics isn't a big issue for me. I don't even have enough data crunch since I don't get enough resources. I see what you're saying. Yep, I found the game more enjoyable when I stopped paying much attention to GAC, which is said, since now I go in and attack as much as I can and then immediately leave. So you're saying that you found the game more enjoyable when you gave up on enjoying Grand Arena? Oh, that is said. I understand though. I totally understand what you're saying. Wormwood says, hello everyone, what is up, Wormwood? Seven star gas already, that is crazy. Yes, this is an exciting day. I should have put this in the thumbnail instead, but check this out. We have General Skywalker, ready to take the seven stars, we're gonna do that together. Wat Tambor, ready to take the seven stars, we're gonna do that together. And one more exciting unlock, we're gonna do it right here. Yeah, it took no time at all. I was checking the stores, Every single time they refreshed, I was not missing a refresh, and I got my gas. I got all the shards necessary for gas in no time at all. So there we go, seven star gas, and nowhere near the gear to get him up to relics, which is sad. I should have had the gear ready, but we're going at we're <laughs> we're not saving any gear. We're just picking one character at a time, going after him, going after him, going after him. And I would put this piece on right here, but Droidica needs this piece. So we're going to have to wait till Droidica is relict before we can start going after this piece right here. Uh, let's go ahead and do Watt Tambor to seven stars. Also, you guys, I'm so excited. Now, once again, I don't have the gear to get him up to relics, but I'm not going for JMK right now. So it's okay. I just have him at seven stars. Now I can use him in like the Sith raid or I don't know. We could use him in other places that we can't normally use him. I'm gonna have to put some more gear on him. Maybe get him up to like Relic Zero or something so he's as fast as he can be. Night Snipe says, the annoying thing is that two of my teams have four of the Relic 3 Plus, so I can't put them on defense with a Datacron. Two of your teams have four R3s, but one, that's the same thing with my Geos, four Relics, one not Relic, yep. Carnage Clash. Hey, Padawan, I just recently started watching all your streams from day one. Wow, currently on day 219, trying to get caught up so I can watch live. Just wanted to stop in and say hi before I go back. Carnage, glad to have you, man. Oh, that's so exciting. That's so exciting. You are going fast, because those streams are long, and there are a lot of them. But I'm so glad, glad to have you as part of the Free to Play Nation community, man. Dom says, I will probably like GAC again eventually, but there isn't a good reason to get there isn't a good reason to get sad about something that doesn't matter to me. Okay, good point. Good point. Terra B says every GAC for me ends up being five to seven million GP people, and it's impossible. But when I'm up against people around my GP, it's fun. Well, we are lucky to have somebody around our GP. I think they're like 3.2 or 3.3 or something. So we're yeah, we got us a fair fight on our hands tonight. I'm excited about that. We'll get into that a little bit later. All right, so those, and now let's do the other. Uh, you know what? I'm going to save. I'm going to save the other exciting unlock for a little bit. But let's do it now. Let's do it now. I can't wait. I can't wait. Look at this, you guys. The negotiator. The negotiator. This is the biggest powerful unlock stream we've ever had. Seven star guest, seven star Watt Tambor, five star negotiator. Let's do it. I'm excited. Here we go. 
activate this bad boy. Now this means that Mace Windu is out of a job leading the Galactic Republic. So we're going to have to figure out who to run with him. We're definitely going to have to figure out who to run with him. All right, so here we go. Ooh, that put us over 3.1 million. That's awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and hopefully we've got the money. 23 million. We don't have a whole lot of extra money, that's for sure. Get him up to level 85. All right. Now, he's only Relic 5, and I don't have all his mods to 6 dots, so I need to put in some work on Kenobi in order to get this negotiator up and running. But let's go ahead and start with his this ability let's start with this ability how high can we get this mobilize this is just an incredible ability incredible ability i don't know how many of these abilities we're going to be able to get up hopefully all of them hopefully all of them uh yeah let's go ahead and do the ultimate let's stop at 40 just to be safe let's stop at level five. Oh my gosh you guys i'm so excited so excited negotiator and malevolence thank you lothal thank you lothal okay let's do this ability um let's since this ability can go all the way to the max let's go ahead and go all the way to the max with this ability it looks like we've got a good bit of prestige left over so let's go ahead and take up the basic we'll take up the offense up duration and we'll take up the ultimate a little more damage there we go. That's as high as we can go with these abilities. Now, there are two more ranks. It's going to take a lot more prestige to get these bad boys up. But prestige is all we're farming. So there we go. There we go. Night Snipe says, Jedi Knight Revan team with R3. Uh, all R3 with R7 Grandmaster Yoda. Gear 12 Hoda. Oh, Hoda, yeah. Padme team with all R5 with Relic 7 GK. Put in any plug-in Galactic Republic, and the highest gear is Gear 12 Mace. Wow. Gear 12 in both of those teams is the other piece of the puzzle, but Mace is probably going to be the next Relic anyways. Okay. So Padme team's going to be able to have a uh, Datacron. Terabi says, oh, hey, I'm only nine injector handle pieces away from Gear 13 BB2. B2. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Darth Venom says, what up, Padawan? What's up, Darth Venom? Good to see you, my friend. Oh man, I feel like we gotta try this ship out now. <clears throat> I don't I'm not necessarily comfortable with that, but I think we need to I think we need to give it a shot. Maybe we could use one of our fleet battles. Maybe we can use one of our fleet battles. Okay. Terra Beast is currently sitting at 55 out of hundred for the seven star negotiator. Hopefully by the time I get another roster review, I'll have it seven stars. That's exciting. That is extremely exciting. Uh, let's spend some energy because we are almost capped on a few of these energies, so we might as well go ahead and do this now. You guys see my uh, crystal collection project is coming along quite nicely. I'm trying to get up to 30-some thousand crystals so that by the time we are ready to go for the executor, we'll be able to refresh that event over and over until we get that executor to seven stars. And that is going to be another exciting day. Not even going for the executor right now. Not, I mean, not going after the stuff. I'm slowly farming stuff. Uh, we're going after SLKR first and several other characters besides SLKR. But after SLKR, we're going after the executor and I want to make sure we have the crystals ready on hand. So every day we buy three refreshes of all the energy except for Cantina. We only buy one. Another exciting thing, you guys, lots of exciting stuff. I missed a stream last uh, earlier this week, and so we were we have lots of exciting stuff crammed together. We finished the uh, range trooper is done. He is done to seven stars. So we've added in Mon Mothma as the next character here in our hard farms, and we also finished. Did you guys see we added in Luke Skywalker for the? Uh, CLS farm. I'm not sure if if we showed that too. So we finished up the Yeah, the BTLB and then we replaced Luke Skywalker for the BTLB Mon Mothma replaced range trooper Piet and dark trooper are still going and the Imperial TIE bomber is gonna be going for a long time So let's go See if we can farm I think I've already farmed Mon Mothma today Hyperdrive. No, thank you Yes, Mon Mothma has already been farmed for today. 
Now, the idea behind both Mon Mothma and CLS is that they're both great light side GOTB teams, and that is the goal. After I go after SLKR, I'm going to be polishing up a couple more light side Geo teams all the way up to the relics to get them ready to go. Uh, and Mon Mothma is one of the ones that I'm going for. Now, the reason I'm farming Farm Boy Luke from a hard node is because it is also the node with Echo. And as you know, we've already gotten Rekka while we were farming the BTLB. We got Record done. We're farming um, Omega from the ships we're farming echo now from here so we're kind of building the bad batch slowly but surely we're not actually going to be working on any of them until we get all of them together we might do put some work into echo because echo can go really well with rex and the crew on all clone trooper galactic challenges we'll see how that goes but if you got the shards form already you can go ahead and upgrade them whenever you want to. Do whatever you need to do. Night Snipe says, five-star negotiator is still a beast. Well, I am looking forward to it. Even at Relic 5 without six-dot mods, I'm not sure. We'll see. We will see. Terra Beast loves that I've got 11.5k crystals. Thank you, sir. Dom says, I'm down to 120 crystals since I just bought some area magnifiers, and now I'm at 18 out of 20 for when I want to do my first R8. Very exciting. That's very exciting. There's a pack in the store for 600 crystals, which gives 900 energy. Is that a better deal than doing refreshes? Or would that even be worth it? If you were to do just the three refreshes a day, you would get uh, 1,200, wait. You would get 120 energy for 50 crystals. So that's no, you would get way more energy for the crystals if you were to do just the regular three refreshes. The way, you, the reason you'd want to consider that pack is if you want a lot of energy today. If you want a lot of energy today, then you would event, that would eventually become a better deal to get that energy if you were like trying to get tickets for a Galactic Legend or something like that. So yeah, this is it right here, 900 energy. But if you look, normally we get 120 energy for 50. So if you were to do that, 12 times to get to 600 crystals that would be 1200 13 20 14 40 14 40 energy for 600 crystals but that requires you to spread it out over time all right let's let's get back into this yeah true dom says if you have a huge stockpile of crystals and you're going for a gl it can be a good deal it's mainly meant to help people. Yeah, it would be 1440, but it's four days to wait. Alex, wait. thank you for that math. That's exactly my point. You'd have to wait four days to do it. And if you're already doing that and you want 900 energy more than you already get, then it does seem like a good way to do it. It does seem like a good way to do it. Not like I want to buy it, just curious. Yeah, I would say it's not the greatest, but it does have potential depending on your situation. All right, um, so let's spend the cantina. Here we go. We're spending this Ebonhawk, you guys. It's taking forever. It's taking forever. Two, two out of 15 runs. That is dirty. That is dirty. Look, we're 164 out of 85. I don't think my plan is working to not level him up to six stars. It's not working. The game knows. The game knows regardless. All right. Mod battles. We are farming still slicing materials. I am getting to the place where I'm getting out of good mods to slice. And I'm going to need to start farming regular mods again. But I have a hard time throwing away mods. Uh, I, need, I just need to do it. I just need to pull the trigger and throw away a bunch of mods that have like 8 speed, 7 speed, at purple let's say you know and it's like well sure they can help a character a little bit but they're not worth upgrading and if they're not worth upgrading why am i keeping them around i need to find that balance i need to find that balance cantina ship farms are horrible apparently it's been a while since i did a cantina ship farm why did i just do that that was poe poe is done whoops that was a waste okay uh we actually we finished poe and now we are farming this Outrider, you guys. Farming the Outrider. Very excited about this, potentially for a Rebel Fleet someday. 
Someday I want that Rebel Fleet. I want it bad. I want it bad. No Echelon today. Omega, how are we doing today? Four shards for Omega. And the Rebel Y-Wing is done. And it is getting close. 324 out of 330. I'm very excited about that. A lot of farms getting close to finishing up. Glermit's in the chat. Hey, Padawan. What is up, Glermit? Glad to have you, buddy. I hope that you're doing well. Okay, so the rest of our energy is going into Droidica. Droidica needs uh, ship energy here. He is getting pretty close. He's getting pretty close, but it's not going to be tonight. Five more pieces of this, and he will be Relic. So probably next stream, we're going to be taking Droidica to Relic, and that will be exciting. R9 Matt's in the store. I'm excited. Yeah, Glermit, that's a really positive change for the free-to-play community to be able to buy those R9 mats. Let's take a look at them. Let's take a look at them. Dom says, with mod energy, sometimes you have loads of mods that you need to slice, and sometimes you have none. But the need for slicing mats gets much higher once you can get mods from all events. That's a good point. If you're getting mods from a lot of sources... Um, then you could you need slicing mods a lot more. Where are the Relic 9 materials? You guys are going to have to forgive me. I'm so early game, I don't even know what the Relic 9 materials look like. I'm guessing they're in here, but I'm not sure. All right, we're getting into the gear. Let's keep going. Where are they? Signal data. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, okay, here we go. Impulse Detector, those are Relic 8, right? Area Magnifiers are Relic 8. Gerda Keypads, this must be it right here. Wow, 1250 for 5, that doesn't seem bad. That doesn't seem bad. And Droid ba Brains, 5 for 1500. That doesn't seem like bad prices. How about that? All right. Cool, so if you guys, if the only thing holding you back from, let's say, Profundity, or uh, anything like that. Maybe you want to get your Piet Relic 9 so that your um, executor does even better. There you go. There is your option to do so right there. And then the regular energy is going to the Kairos, which we need for gas. So we have enough Kairos for Droidica, but we need them for gas as well. And it's always a good idea to farm Kairos, you guys. If you don't know what to do with your regular energy, farming the Cairo Shock Prods is a great thing to do because all this stuff is good. All that gear is good right there. Okay. Glermit says, yes, I'm going to either R9 Lord Vader or Ray tonight. Which should I do, Padawan? Oh, my gosh. Lord Vader, right? Isn't he the one that gets the most benefit from R9? But then again, you're kind of like off the beaten path you do stuff that's a little bit different r9 ray ooh, that would be nasty that would be nasty are you going to be able to get uh get the new jedi get uh ben swolo coming up if you're going to be able to get swolo from uh conquest ray might be the better choice r9 ray is insane lord vader doesn't really need it hey i mean you might be right you might be right yeah, chat, weigh in on it. What should Glurman do? What should Glurman do? Most of the R8 and R9 materials sold in ship nits usually have a good price. Excellent. I'm going to head to bed now. I was very sick Wednesday and still feeling it a bit. Very unfortunate since I was on a little vacation with friends, but it was also unfortunate that it was the last day. Yikes. I'm sorry, Night Snipe. Well, have a good night, sir. Have a good night. They both gain a lot from R9. Lord Vader is the more optimal, but Ray is nasty at 9. Ooh, man. That's, I'm, I'm excited to see what you choose, Glermit. I'm excited to see what you choose. If it was me, what would I do? If I was in your boat and I had that beautiful, amazing roster, I think I'd go Ray. I think I'd go Ray. Remember, Lord Vader gains health from protection, so R9 is, is good. Yeah. Ooh. Lord Vader does seem like the better choice, but I think I'd go Ray. Just because, you know. I'm, I'm a little crazy. You're a little crazy. Ray does 7% more damage for each relic on her whirlwind. Plus, you know, more... What does, do you get much more health from Relic 9? If you don't get much more health, because Ray really wants the health more than the protection. Yeah, any GL is a good R9. It's a tough choice. 
That is a tough choice. Well, let's get into a roster spotlight, you guys. Let's get into a roster spotlight. We'll do some shops. You know what? The shops, I think they're about to change over. Let's just knock out the shops real quick. They got half an hour till they change over, and I have not done them yet. So let's go ahead and knock them out. We don't want to miss out, especially on these four pieces of gear right here. Got to be careful. Click in. I don't want to click the wrong thing. Cantina battles. Cassian Zewing for the shard shop currency. Guild activity. Uh, we basically are to the point now where I'm buying everything that I have less than 50 of. Except for Mark IV back to gels. Because these are on a really good node. It's good to farm those. So I try not to buy them. Besides that, uh, I like to buy Mark III Hollow. Uh, Mark, well, yeah, the Mark III Hollows, yeah. But here I have less than 50 of that right there. The Mark III Hollows I like to buy because they're great for relics. And then the uh, Carbontes. That's the one I couldn't think of. The Carbontes show up here a lot, and there aren't any right now. Squad Arena, Prestige. You know what? We just spent a lot of our Prestige. we got to... Nothing but prestige for more than a year on this roster. Nothing but prestige for more than a year. And I am still low on prestige. We are upgrading ships so fast. In uh, Galactic War, we are buying the ships for the Shard Shop Currency Fleet Arena. Poe is done. Let's go ahead and snag a Zeta material. Anything else in here? There's like almost nothing left in Fleet Arena for me. So it's just Zetas now. Zetas and occasionally the Razor Crest when it shows up here. And also there's like one more ship, the Scimitar, I think I don't have. All right, we've got all this leftover Get 1. So I am spending that on the Wampa. And Get 2 is going towards the Negotiator, which we don't have enough, which is fine. Grand Arena Currency going toward the Mod Slicing Materials. I need it so bad. Shard Shop. Same thing here. I started buying more out of the shard shop. I wasn't buying any of this 720 cost gear. Um, <laughs> Glarman says he's going to do Ray. Thanks, Padawan. Hey, my pleasure, man. That I think that fits the Glarmit style a little bit more. Are you playing new background music? No, Brian Thompson. It is the same background music that I've been playing since the get-go. I need to get some new black background music going. I definitely do. always want to buy this 360 piece of gear depending on uh what it is it's almost always a good thing because it's good for slicing materials these mark 7 thermals always want to buy these always want to buy these um we'll buy a little of this too we need that for a lot of characters conquest do they have the new ship in conquest yet Ooh, does this mean it's going to show start showing up in here this tie interceptor this is what I've been saving my currency for. So if it shows up here for crystals, maybe that means it's going to show up for conquest currency. We don't have far before we can unlock it, and then that's going to make our empire fleet even a little bit better. Datacrons, what is this, a new one? Um, let's see. Dark side light. This must be the new one. Ardent ideologies. I didn't go after Datacron set 2 like at all because I the only light side team that I have at Relics can't gain bonus turn meter. It's the Padme team. So I didn't go after it. I'm going to have to look and see if I need to be going after this right here. I just about have decided to spend my ally points in another way because I just can't get it together to sit here and click. I just can't do it. I've tried. I have tried. I have a lot of gear hoarded. I do. I'm not hoarding it. I'm just getting the currency so fast that I'm buying it frequently. You know, I'm not trying to not spend it. I'm spending it as fast as I can. But I, I uh, am getting the currency so fast because our guild is so good. We're doing well in the fleet arena. We're doing well in the squad arena. Dom says, in the squad arena stores, I was buying prestige, but now I'm getting all the characters in there, just seven stars, so I'm not tempted to buy the other stuff. I got you. I got you. Yeah, I mean, till the end of time, you can almost buy prestige till the end of time. So at some point, you got to stop and say, I got to get these characters, right? So maybe I should be getting some characters. Most of these characters are not seven stars. Leia's not done. Nebit's not done. Ugnot's not done. Greedo. 
Uh, Saj is done for Gas. Sav Savage is not done. HK for Darth Revan's not done. Um, Cup is not done. Eth Koth, Sidious, and then there's you can get some good pieces of gear out of here too. Definitely, you can get some good pieces of gear out of here. Uh, but this prestige, man, it's like the the best place to get it from, and you need so much of it. You need so much of it. All right, so let's get into a roster spotlight now. I keep saying it, it's time to do it. Here we go. 952-238-127. Let me grab a drink of water. Uh-oh. Did it freeze the game? Or did I just not click it? I didn't click it. Okay. Here we go. My old guild leader, Dark Ventus. The Senate... Kashyyyk. This is one of the more mature guilds in the Senate Alliance. More mature than Lothal. But it's more of a it's more of a casual guild. And so it was just a really relaxed place to be. Very uh I, I was there with another account for a couple of years and enjoyed my time there. The people there are incredible, and Dark Ventus is no exception to that. So let's uh Let's look at this here. Uh, Dom says, eventually you will take a couple characters to gear 12 and they will need all that gear. You have a large excess of it and it will go down. You're absolutely right, Dom. That will happen. That will happen. Every time I take a gear to gear 12, we use up a bunch of that gear. Dark Ventus, 4 million galactic power. Congratulations, man. You crossed over the 4 million and now can access all of the goodies that that entails. Hard Conquest. Proving grounds and whatever else they're going to be releasing so that we can have to have four million GP. Two and a half million in characters, 1.7 in ships. Let's look down. I bet you gear donated is a lot. 815 gear donated from a guild leader. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Taking care of his guild. All right, let's look at the ships he is currently using. The Finalizer Fleet. And he's at rank 62 in what I assume is a very mature shard with lots of executors. So that's impressive. That's impressive. Uh, Dom says, I really liked Negotiator when it was five stars. It got me to top 20 when I tried, and now I've recently got it to six stars in Fleet Arena. Congratulations, man. That is awesome. Definitely try in Fleet Arena. It is worth it. Wow, we're looking at some very strong stuff. Relic 6, Relic 6 on this Millennium Falcon. Seven stars on this bad boy. The Finalizer Fleet. Relic 6 on Spy, you guys. That is awesome. That is awesome. Uh, Relic 3 on the TIE Fighter Pilots for First Order. We have uh, Gear 12, seven stars on both Anakin and Ahsoka's TIE Fighter. Beautiful. Uh, we've got the other Geos at Gear 12. Xanadu, wow, is he going for the Executor? He's got to be going for the Executor because he's got Gear 12 on all these Bounty Hunter ships. That's awesome. Ty Echelon is coming along at three stars. Are you farming that right now, Ventus? Let us know. Let us know are you farming the Ty Echelon right now. I'm guessing that you are. I'm guessing that you are. We've got a Rebel Fleet in here. We've got the Vulture Droid. Plo Koon is seven stars on that ship. You got a lot of ships. You got a lot of ships. You got the Negotiator Relic 8. Relic 8 on the Negotiator. Holy moly. Relic 3 on Mace. This must mean you're going for JMK, which I believe I knew that. I believe I knew you were going for JMK. Home 1. Chimera, Finalizer, Executrix, Endurance, and the Negotiator. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's look at the characters. Oh, my goodness. There he is. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. When I first met Dark Ventus, he was going for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. And he was the guild leader of our guild. And the plan was, by the time he got Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, we would be able to get through the uh, heroic... Sith raid. It was before we, were, we weren't even able to do the heroic Sith raid yet and his Supreme Leader Kylo Ren was one of the key ingredients to us getting through that raid. 
But I am seeing more than SLKR here. I'm seeing more than SLKR. We got Relic 7 on Jedi Knight Revan, Relic 7 on Darth Vader, Relic 7 on Rey. A Relic 7 Rey means one of two things. It either means going after Galactic Legend Rey, or it means going after Jedi Master Luke, right? Kenobi at Relic 8. Is that uh, Brood Alpha at Relic 7? Intimidation is here. Yo, I made it to a stream for once, at least to a bit. Intimidation, glad to have you. This is another one of our content creators in Free to Play Nation. You guys know him from his forum posts and his amazing Free to Play plans, guides, and uh, path farming guides. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, glad to have you, Intimidation. Definitely, my friend. Glad to have you. Yeah, Dom says beating the heroic Sith Ray for the first time is always a big thing. It was a huge thing. Our guild really came together, and it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun to go towards that. Oh, man. Grandmaster Yoda, Relic 8. General Kenobi, Relic 8. He's going for JMK, you guys. He's going for JMK. Look at all these sevens. Look at all these Relic 7s. Holy moly, it's a lot of Relic 7s. Wow, including Grievous. CLS, Relic 5, all three Zetas. He got some Zetas on this roster. Man, Mace Windu with the Omicron. That's awesome. That's awesome. Ventus, you're going to have to tell me what, uh, how that's doing in, um, in Territory Wars for you. What team are you using it with right now? And are you going to be using it with JMK once you get him? Wampa with the Omicron. Darth Malak. Wow, you've got some amazing stuff. You got both Revens. You got Malak, SOKR. Incredible teams. You got Jedi Training Ray. Shock T Relic 7. The whole CLS team is rocking and rolling. This roster is sweet. Very sweet. Phasma with the Omicron. You can tell that this man loves his guild. He is working on Territory Wars Omicrons. And great Light Side Geo and Dark Side Geo teams. Definitely. Definitely. Ooh, he's got the Night Sisters too. Very nice. Very nice. Got Jolie. Man, we're still in the relics down here, you guys. Gear 12s and relics. Gear 12s and relics. B1 at gear 12. Asajj at gear 12. Oh, man. He's looking like he's pretty close to gas, too. Maybe maybe he had gas and I just didn't even see. Um, Because let's, 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 let's break this up a little bit. I'm just admiring the roster at this point. All right, Separatist, Django. So he's got B1. Okay, so he's not quite gas ready. He's got a little more work to do on these droids. Wat Tambor is almost seven stars. Beautiful. So let's look at these uh, Night Sisters then, because I saw a Gear 12 Asajj. There we go. Yes, Mother Talzin and Asajj. Zombie, Daka, and Initiate. Awesome, awesome. I bet you get some holds with that team in Grand Arena. Especially with that initiate. Uh, seeing a CLS squad with relics, he will go for Jedi Master Luke after JMK. I agree. I agree because he's got this Relic 3 Wampa, which means he was probably... Does he have Jedi Knight Luke? Let's see. He's going after a lot of stuff at the same time. I didn't see Jedi Knight Luke. Maybe I just missed him. Um, no, no Jedi Knight Luke. So, but he's close. He's definitely close. He needs to do, what, Hermit Yoda to Relics 2, I think? I forget. I forget all the requirements. I forget there's a lot of requirements. So, Ventus, you're going to have to tell us later, man, in the, in the comments, what is your favorite team that you have here in your roster? What team do you like to use the most? Because you got a lot of stuff here. A lot of stuff. Qui-Gon is coming up. Looks like he's coming up to the Relics. I guess that's for uh, JMK also. JMK is very close. Very close. Mara Jade, another Territory War Omicron. Look at that, you guys. This is a Territory War machine here. All right. Looking good, man. This is a beautiful roster. This is a beautiful roster. All right, let's look at the Imperial Troopers. I don't remember seeing any Imperial Troopers, but let's see if he's got them up and running. He's got them down low. They can probably still kill a team or two, even at that level. Uh, let's look at the Galactic Republic. <laughs> General Kenobi Relic 8. Woo! Master Yoda Relic 8. 3PO. So he's got that Ewok farm done. 
Shock T is Relic 7. Wow. Wow. So this is probably his Padme team right here. Padme, Kenobi, Yoda, 3PO, Shock T. Maybe he's got Mace in there as an alt tank. I don't know. Maybe he's running Ahsoka and Anakin as well. That could be. That could be. Uh, he, ooh, he might, you know he's probably running Shock T with uh, Jedi Knight Revan. Probably. Probably. Galactic Republic are looking nice. We already looked at the Separatists. Uh, let's look at the... I don't remember seeing Sith. We'll see how the Sith are looking. Yeah, yeah, we got <laughs> plenty of Sith. Plenty of Sith. Look at that. Darth Revan, Darth Malak. Vader, Palpatine. Tell me what your Darth Revan team is that you like to use, my friend. Because I've heard that Sith Empire Trooper, even at lower gear like this, can still do really well in that team. Uh, Intimidation says, trying to address just to when your streams are, Patty. It used to be like 11 p.m. for me, and now they're 4 p.m. Wow, so you're having a big time adjustment now that you're back in the States. Dang, man. Well, that's cool that we're going to have you around from time to time. That's awesome, man. Trickster says, hey, yo. What's up, Trickster? Good to see you, my friend. All right, what else should we look at here? Let's see. We looked at the Jedi. We looked at the Sith. We looked at the Separatists. Rebels. We got to look at these Rebels. And then we're going to look at some mods. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. That is the dream team right there. That's the dream team. All right. Awesome. Let's look at some of these mods. Let's look at some of these mods. We're going to sort by speed and see what some of his fastest characters are. Amazia says... So back to the title of the stream. Datacrons have not yet affected my enjoyment, but my opponents have been frustrated with my defense, which is good in the moment, but not good for the health of the game, in my opinion. So you're saying that you are utilizing Datacrons to a good extent to where your defense is very strong and your opponents are getting frustrated. Well, good on you. That's how you're supposed to be using those Datacrons, right? Using them to, their, to the best of your ability so that you can frustrate your opponents and win in Grand Arena. Not necessarily to frustrate your opponents, but definitely to win in Grand Arena. All right, let's look at this SLKR. SLKR, he is rocking 567 speed. Holy moly. Look at this health, 136,000 health. How about the, uh, the damage? Over 10,000 damage. Wow, this is a nice SLKR. I like this SLKR. Very nice. All right, let's go to the next one and see how he's doing with his uh, Jedi Knight Revan. Showcase some of his beautiful mods here. Jedi Knight Revan is rocking 307, an extra 139 from mods. Let's look at some of these mods. 24 speed there. 18 speed there with room to go. 15 speed with room to go. 16 wow on a crit damage offense mod with crit damage primary that is nice that is nice all right what do we have up here speed with offense in here right here in the secondary along with health which is great for him and speed right here fantastic man fantastic looking good looking good looking good all right let's look at oh padme's fast too how fast is padme how fast is padme 297 that is pretty fast for padme all the abilities maxed i love it let's keep looking let's look at a couple more and then we're going to say sayonara to this beautiful roster shakti is rocking 293 speed all abilities maxed except for her lead because he's not currently using her as a leader because he's using her probably under jenna knight revan Probably under Jedi Knight Revan. Intimidation says, I agree with Amasia. Same for me. I stack defense and GAC with them, and they are struggling, especially CLS with the 25% preload of Terminator. Most opponents don't use many, if any, Datacrons. Really? And Amasia says, that's the exact team I'm talking about. Hey, if you guys got it, use it, right? If you got it, use it. Well, I'm actually very happy to hear that everybody so far has either not been affected by datacrons or has had a positive experience with datacrons that is very refreshing and encouraging for me to hear and that helps me to have a more positive view of them as well uh i just want to look one more and one more thing first order officer i'm particularly look at this no six dot mods at all and he's 264 with no six dot mods most of those mods are 
are not even fully maxed out either. So that's fantastic. Thank you for letting us look at your roster, my friend. Let's uh, fix the sword and we'll do one more slow scroll. You're getting very close to that JMK. And I hope that when you get him, you love him with all your heart because he's going to be worth it. He's going to be worth it. Congratulations on the 4 million. That's a huge accomplishment. Huge accomplishment. All right. Now let's get into... Let's do a... Uh, let's do a fleet battle. We're going to use our new ship. And then we're going to do another roster spotlight. We're at rank 21. I'm super nervous about this. Okay, we have a rebel fleet. Interesting. Okay, this is the first time I've even seen this fleet. This is the first time I've even seen this fleet. Let's give it a shot. Let's change everything. Here we go. Kenobi. We're going to do... Uh, what? Not, not Houndstooth, right? Not Houndstooth. We're going to do... The BTLB. But he's not maxed out yet. He doesn't have doesn't have all his abilities yet. Can we add another any abilities while we wait? Oh yeah, we can. Uh, which one do I want? Do I want when he's defeated they gain counter chance, or do I want more damage when he's defeated? Let's do that one. All right, that's good. So we're gonna put him in. Bimgus says, "Hey Padawan, what's up, Bimgus? Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you." All right, and we're gonna do. Let's just let's select by Galactic Republic. That'll be easier. Galactic Republic here. All right, so we want BTLB. We want Plo for sure. Fives, yes. And then is that Rex? I don't know what the best starting three is here. And I know my Rex is not uh, not looking that great right now. You can use Houndstooth because that's what people did before Executor. Okay. Um. I want to try out the BTLB. I want to try this out and see how this works. Let's give this a shot. Let's give this a shot and hope for the best. Oh boy, here we go, guys. Here we go. I haven't used the, the uh, negotiator in a long time. I usually use Houndstooth, Anakin, and Ahsoka as a starting lineup. That's probably what I should have used. Okay, Houndstooth or your negotiator. That's probably what I should have used. Okay, um, who is this? Biston. Let's see if we can take Biston out early. Don't want Biston to do his thing, but he's about to, isn't he? No, he's not. All right, good. Oh my gosh, we're losing people. Let's do an AOE, get the buff immunity on him. All right, so we want to do this ability where we mass assist, right? Put the days out there, and then thank you Millennium Falcon for cleansing him. That's unfortunate. Okay, let's get to Tonta. Took us a long time to take a turn there. Took us a long time to take a turn. All right, we're gonna call in fives because there's target lock on two enemies. And we're going to do the AOE. Boom. So far, so good, guys. Let's see who he brings in. Houndstooth, yikes. Uh, gotta go after him, right? Basic, put the defense down, that's good. Target lock, we need that because that will make um, Wait, okay, I gotta actually read this. Offense up for the target ally, and then un unending loyalty for everybody. Okay, so we wanna grant this to Anakin because we want him to have the offense up, right? Yeah, definitely. Definitely, all right, let's remove that taunt. And then he took the defense down away, that sucks. Okay, we still have to go after him, still have to go after him. Just a basic. I don't want to try to put buff immunity on him while... Let's bring in Plo. Keep Anakin in good shape. Turn meter for our team. And then we'll hit the AoE. Take those buffs off of the Houndstooth. Uh, just a basic. I hate that he cleanses on a basic. Houndstooth is mean. Oh, here comes the Rebel Y-Wing. Shield disruption landed. We're in trouble now. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Bam! We're gonna plow this. <laughs> All right, here we go. The, another mass assist. I love that mass assist. It is so mean. It is so mean. There we go. Now it's just down to us and you. Us and you, Millennium Falcon. Nice. All right. Well, we we won our first negotiator battle. That's cool. 
That's cool. And the BTLB hung in, but he wasn't taunting most of the time. I don't know why he wasn't taunting most of the time. Oh, well. Obviously need to work on my BTLB, get him that last ability maxed out, and maybe the uh, reinforcement abilities as well. They may already be maxed out. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but let's do the other roster spotlight. Here we go. Uh, 425. 976. 577. Negotiator is such a good ship. Apparently it is. 171219. I'm not sure what the uh, significance of those numbers are, but he is a usurper from Los <laughs> Melones. Is that Melones or is it Melons? Los Melons? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Very similar. Look, SOKR in the squad arena. Uh, uh, the, the finalizer fleet in the fleet arena. Very nice. Chromium 3. 3.1 million. This is almost the same as us. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. Galactic Power Characters, 1.8. Ships, 1.3. Beautiful. Squad Arena Battles 1, a little more than Fleet Arena, but he obviously focuses on both. Uh, gear donated. What? 2,971? At 3, 3 million Galactic Power? That is a redonkulous. That is bonkers. That is a bonkers amount of gear donated. Give this man a medal. For bonkers amount of gear donated. That's fantastic. Fantastic. It's a Spanish guild. It translates to the melons. Oh, it's you, Alex. This is you? Cool. Very cool. Well, you're a donating fool, man. That is the bonkers amount of donations. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Cool. So you're here in the chat with us. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, here we go. The, the top of his fleet is hands down the finalizer fleet. Kylo Ren's command shuttle, TIE Silencer, First Order, TIE Fighter, TIE Echelon at six stars. You're farming that fast. You're farming that fast. And First Order, Special Forces TIE Pilot. And then, after that, we're looking at Hans Millennium Falcon. Beautiful. We're looking at... Uh, I advanced Relic 5 on that Vader. Houndstooth and Slave 1, both of them at gear 12. This is remarkable. This is remarkable. This is like a little bit less advanced version of the roster we were just looking at. But the gear donated is just crazy, man. Crazy gear donated. Ben Lionheart, there you are. We just did your roster spotlight earlier, man. Yo, Patty, what's up? What is up, my friend? You're in Landisburg. Hello there, free to play Padawan. Congratulations for the negotiator. Thank you. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Dom says, I find it interesting that a lot of the finalizers I see aren't that high in Fleet Arena. If you are using the finalizer in Fleet Arena, you have to attack very often. You have to because you drop. It doesn't hold well on defense. It does really well on offense. It doesn't hold well in defense. So that's probably one of the reasons. And people in the fleet arena in the top 50, they're hungry, man. They're in the top 50 because they're hungry. And if they see something that they think they can beat easily, they're going to attack it. Even if there's something else they can beat, they're going to go for the easier target. The finalizer is often the easier target. So the secret is going to be to have the finalizer and something like the negotiator. So you can climb with the finalizer, but then have your last battle with the negotiator. Um... You're farming executor now? Oh man, that's exciting. That is exciting. Very nice. Very nice. Your bugs are looking functional. Your Millennium Falcon is looking functional. Your Empire Fleet is looking good. Your Finalizer Fleet is looking great. And your Executor Fleet is coming along. Oh baby, that's looking good. IG. It looks like the only one that you don't have is IG. And you've already got him at five stars with gear 12 on the pilot. Looking good looking good looking good looking good these pilotless ships are coming along vulture tie bomber btlb rebel y-wing definitely coming along uh right there he is finalizer relic five six stars on that finalizer already that's fantastic and all these other ships are coming up trickster says nice alex are you going to go for c next get the whole trifecta wait does he have two Galactic Legends? I didn't even look. Well, let's look now. 
Let's look now. What do you mean by trifecta, trickster? Help me out. Oh, oh, S O K R, executor, and C. I gotcha. That trifecta. I gotcha. Man, this roster is looking sick. This is looking good. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Plus a bunch of requirements. Captain Phasma Omicron. First Order TIE Pilot Omicron. Jedi Knight Revan here as well. Very nice. Who did I click on? Sith Trooper. We clicked on him. Let's look at him. How do you have your Sith Trooper modded? You've got him with some moderate speed. You've got him with a good bit of protection. And uh, let's look at the damage. Critical damage, 222%. That's a lot of damage. Plus 7,300 damage. This guy, when he hits, he hits. He hits hard and he crits hard. What's his crit chance? I'm just curious. Critical damage, critical chance, 53%. So I wonder how often does do you find that he crits? Does he have like hidden crit chance in his kit somewhere? Uh, oh my gosh, extra crit damage right here. Extra crit damage right there too, wow. Wow, wow, wow. When he crits, it's done. It's done. I'm um, thinking about JMK and C. Don't know which one first. Executor and C pair well. I got you. I got you. Got you. Yeah, C, you'd probably be closer from SOKR and Executor, but JMK is definitely a monster. I feel the same way, Trickster. I feel like C is one of those characters that he's incredible, but among the Galactic Legends, he seems like he is not possibly the best one to go for first so you want to go after him when you find that you're already close to him anyway so it's like i'm gonna just kind of take a take a detour pick up c along with the executor along with my imperial troopers along with my empire team whatever whatever you're building and then you only have to pick up two or three more characters let's say so you can grab c you might as well grab him at that point but yeah this roster is looking sick, man. Are these bugs Watt ready? Can you get a Watt shard with these bugs? Does the melons get a Watt shard from you? Look at this, you guys. Darth Revan down here too. Man. And the bounty hunters with Mando. This is looking good. This is looking real good. How are you doing, how are you doing in Conquest? What teams do you use mostly in Conquest? Uh, I guess it's probably SOKR primarily. You also look like you have a Revan. So you have a Revan team and then a Darth Revan as well. It looks like you've got a lot of stuff in the Gear 11 territory. Hera with the Omicron. You don't see that one every day. That's cool. Iden Versio with the Omicron. That is awesome too. That is awesome too. Let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. Ooh, you got 8th Brother at 5 stars. This means you're farming the Inquisitors? Just 8th Brother. Interesting interesting uh droidica is what all the way done at seven stars look at that hoth rebel scout seven stars so many characters seven stars look at all this that's a lot that is a lot uh let's see here my guild doesn't do gotb you have all this and your guild doesn't do gotb that's incredible man that's incredible Amazia says, uh, yeah, he's overall the worst GL. Yeah, I, th I think I saw that video recently from Arnold where he ranks all the GLs. He's still great though, right? He's still great. Dom says, if you're thinking about doing Executor currently once you have it, then you'd be wise to bring a team or two to Relic before getting another GL, and then you can do what you wish. I see your point, Dom. It's good, but he's got a lot of good characters though. A lot of good characters. And uh, this is, I can't believe you've done this without any dark side GM. That means you are definitely hindered in what you're able to get. Trickster says, I'm working on C, the last of the three for me, getting closer day by day. Also hoping to get Executor uh, to seven stars in this one event. Oh my gosh, from 30 out of 85 to seven stars in this one event. So Trickster, you must have some crystals saved up. That would be so exciting. If you get a seven-star executor, you got to put that in the personal achievements, man. Definitely in the Discord. You guys, if you're not part of the Discord and you want a place to hang out with this community in between streams, that Free-to-Play Nation Discord is the place to be. I'm telling you, the link is in the description of the stream right now. 
Uh, oh, Alex says, I don't farm Inquisitors. He has a ship with him that I farm. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh, is, <laughs> forgive me. I'm trying to figure out how to say your name. Is it Wao? Whoa, Joe, Joe? I don't know how to say your name. I'm sorry. Mansoor, roster reviews? Yeah, this is just a roster spotlight. It's different from a roster review. I'm not necessarily giving you advice on how to improve your roster unless you ask specific, specific questions. I am showing the world all the wonderful things that you have done because this game takes a long time to accomplish these great things like SOKR, Raleigh's Relic 7s, Jedi Knight Revan, uh, Gene Ocean Brood Alpha felt like he took a while at first. Uh, you know, long hard farms that are that take you a long time to do. These ships, they take so long. This Kylo Ren Command Shuttle, oh my gosh, takes forever. Houndstooth takes forever. And all these farms that you've done, all this work that you've done, I want to show the world the work that you've done. I thought the second, I thought second sister was the ship. It's pronounced Joe Wow. Joe Wow. Okay, that's easy. That's easy. The IG-88 ship has an Inquisitor with it. Okay, okay. IG-88 ship has the Inquisitor with it. Nice. That works too, Intimi. Actually, okay. So the Intimidation said something and then retracted it. So Joe Wow. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, dude... Alex, amazing roster. Keep up the good work. You're doing an awesome job. Ventus, keep up the good work. You're doing an awesome job. You guys are plugging forward, having a balanced approach between helping your guild, helping yourselves, and having fun. And that is awesome. That is awesome. Let's do another fleet battle. Hopefully, we're not going to get knocked back because we're using the negotiator. But I kind of want to use it now. Uh, we probably can't use it here probably can't use it here let's use the um let's use the malevolence to take out this negotiator and then we'll use negotiators to take out malevolence how about that we'll, we'll bounce back and forth separatists we want sunfac vulture droid hyena bomber spy and soldier that's what we want and that's all we want let's do it let's do it Joao says, that's a cool way of looking at rosters. Well, I mean, everybody, no matter... Oh, I forgot to look at Alex's mods. I'm sorry, Alex. Thanks for reviewing my roster. Alex, do you want me to go back in and look at your mods? Let me know. Because we can do that after this fleet battle. It's looking amazing. Your roster's looking amazing. Congratulations on all of your great achievements. All right, let's put some buzz droids over here on Anakin. There's a negotiator doing that terrible move to us. Usually they kill Vulture Droid. Are they gonna... Okay, good. They killed Vulture Droid. Now, we can cleanse our Hyena Bomber. Hyena Bomber will cleanse Sunfac, and we're all cleansed up. Now we can target Anakin, do the AoE here, hopefully get some assists. Yes, excellent. He's looking very ready to die. He's looking ready to die. <laughs> okay, good. That's not Plo. If that was Plo, I would have been big sad. Okay, so he died the first time. Perfect. Perfect. Now we just need it to the not plow again for a while. Let's try to get Anakin. We want to Anakin to take turns because look, these buzz droids, they attack his health. They're going to bypass this purple protection, go straight after his health. The more turns he takes, the faster he's going to die. So let's try to make sure that he takes as many turns as possible by killing his friends. Uh, you know what? We could probably kill fives right here. Boom. Now take a turn. Get close to death. Oh, he got the unending loyalty back. That's no good. That's no good. But let's go ahead and try to call some assists. No assists. All right. Let's see if we can make him take a turn and get another death. Made him take a turn and got another death, but we lost our sun fact. That's not good. And here comes Plo. Yikes. Okay. This is not going as well as I had hoped. We got to get through this tank because as long as he has protection, he is taunting. Hey, are we here? Kill the tank? Yes, good. And we'll take that little measly hit from you, Anakin. Our tank is thicker than a snicker. Let's do a little Anakin damage. We need to get buzz droids back on him if we can. Here comes the ultimate. I don't like this. I don't like this. This is not looking good. I think we might lose this one. I think we might lose this one because once these bombs start going off, we're going to be losing ships left and right. And this houndstooth is so thick. 
under the negotiator. It is so hard to kill. We need fuzz droids on him so that we can at least be doing some mass assists or something like that. All right, there goes another vulture. We need more vultures on the field, and we need more real ships on the field, too. We don't have any more real ships. There goes our spy. A little more Anakin damage. Yes, good assist, soldier. Good assist. If uh, we can get the stupid taunt off of Houndstooth, then we can go over there and finish off Anakin. And then there's that ability again. Uh, this looks like this looks like bad news, guys. This looks like bad news. Here we go. We only have two real ships left. Can we get Anakin out? Let's get him out. All right, let's go after the Houndstooth. We need more vultures on the field, quickly. We need more vultures on the field. All right, he put the taunt on Ahsoka, which actually works out in our favor. Please don't kill Anakin. Please don't. I'll love you forever if you just don't kill Anakin. He killed Anakin. Talk about it. <laughs> All right, well, maybe we should have used a five-star negotiator, but it probably would have gone even worse. No need to see my mods. I don't focus on them too much. Fantastic. Fantastic. Johnny Ramirez says, hello, hello. Well, your roster is looking sick, Alex. Especially, I'm blown away by your donations. I'm blown away by the fact that your guild doesn't do uh, Geo TV at all. That's incredible that you've done so well. You've done so well. Um, let's see here. You think they will ever add Asajj Ventress's ship from Malevolence? Ooh, that'd be awesome. I want Dooku's ship, too. I want Dooku's ship very, very much. Because it's kind of like a Gene Ocean ship, but it's bigger. And I just feel like it'd be good. It'd give me a reason to un to upgrade Dooku, you know? But I don't know. Any any Anything that they add to the Malevolence fleet feels like it might put it over the top. Because it's already good, right? It's already good. Uh, what do we got here? Grand Arena, Squad Arena. All right, we're gonna really have to focus on fleet. We can't get caught up in our Grand Arena like I often do. We're gonna have to focus on fleet because we've only got three more battles and we've got to win all three in order to get up into the top whatever. We might have to spend some crystals today. Sometimes you gotta spend crystals to get crystals, but right now we're on a fleet battle cooldown So we're gonna get into this grand arena and take a look dark wing dork first of all Incredible name Incredible name Have you guys ever seen the show dark wing duck dark wing duck. Let's get dangerous I don't know if you guys ever watched that show. I watched that show growing up. Love that show um, that might not even be the words. I might be completely misremembering, but I love Darkwing Duck, and he's Darkwing Dork. I've got nothing but respect for this guy. Nothing but respect for this guy. Let's see what he put on defense. Oh, boy. Ooh, we got a pretty tough defense, guys. Okay, what's up, North? We've got... Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. He's got the Datacrons. This is the good Jedi Knight Revan team. I'm calling it right now. We're not getting through this team. We're not getting through this team. This Hux team, maybe. What is this Omicron? Tell me this isn't turn meter. Where's the Omicron? You remember Darkwing Duck, Brian Thompson? I love it. I love it. It was a, it was a great show. It was a great show. Yep, turn meter here. What's, uh, what's this Datacron? When they, they were... Inflict four debuffs in a turn. They have reduced their cooldowns. Okay, okay, okay. Joe Wow says, ah, okay, at least if you're getting rank one for that, it'll give you a decent amount of gear over time. Uh, our leader has 9k dom donations, so my donations really aren't that much. You guys are just a generous guild. You're a generous guild. You want to help this guild? I'm the only one who can clear the heroic Sith raid. That's very generous of you, Alex. You're just a giving person. You're finding a way to enjoy this game by making other people's experience better in the game. And that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So we should be able to beat that Bounty Hunter team. We might be able to beat that First Order team. Let's see what's going on in the South. Yeah, it's turn meter. You're right, Joe Wow. You're absolutely right. It's turn meter. What have we got down here? Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at this defense. Look at this defense. 
We put everything on defense. We might have to go north. We might have to go north. Wow, wow, wow. This is not a huge roster, okay? This roster is like the same size as our roster, which means that he has put a lot into his defense. He's put a lot into his defense. Let's see, what, it, what does he even have left for offense? Dom says, I don't focus on GAC for this exact reason. It doesn't feel nice to see uh, how out outmatched you are in every GAC match, which is why I go in and straight out. I got you. I got you, Dom. But that's just the thing. That's my point. We're actually not outmatched this time. If we look at his stats, he's 3.4. We're 3.1. I mean, it's relatively comparable. Uh, we got him on ships. We definitely got him on ships. So if he's got us on characters, let's see. What does he even have that he doesn't have on defense? Not Okay, this is on defense, not on defense. Not on defense that I saw. All this is defense, defense. Okay, Jetta Training Ray's not on defense. Uh, all this is on defense. The Geos are probably on the back wall. So he just put like most of his entire roster. So what does this mean? This means that he will probably, probably not be able to get through our south wall. We got to try to go north. We got to try to go north. Hopefully beat his ships. Hopefully, and hopefully he can't get through the south and he goes north and can't beat our ships. That's the plan of attack. That's the plan of attack. Well, let's try to do a fleet battle before we get in here. We got to go north. I don't know what we're going to do against that Jedi Knight Revan team. Well, I don't know what we can do, but try. 45 seconds. Let's go ahead and try to... We're going to try the same battle because if we get to rank 10, I think that is. I can't quite see because it's got like a, a Q over it. If we can beat this fleet, which we sometimes can, then that'll put us able to go after rank six. And then, okay, Nubian is number one. Hmm. I would really like to attack that. I don't think we have enough time. Francesca, we should be able to beat. So if we go after rank 10, we'll be able to go to rank six, and then we'll be able to go to rank two without spending crystals. And rank two is good enough for me. Rank two is good enough for me. Uh, 3v3 makes the opponent's defense seem harder than they are, definitely. Then Lionheart says, I'll have to go back and watch my roster review. I'll be DMing you later with something with an idea I had. Fantastic, man. I look forward to that DM, definitely. You guys, I am a very small YouTuber, so if any of you guys want to DM me about whatever, I am not going to be upset about that. If you want to send me a DM, go for it. Go for it. You'll find me in the Discord, hopefully in most channels. I try to be somewhat active i've kind of been doing a bad job lately kind of been doing a bad job lately of being active but i love you guys and i want to be a part of that community with you because it's a super fun community to be a part of brb dom says well hopefully you'll be back in time for the grand arena we're gonna go north probably gonna try to use the geos against that jedi knight revan team and i just don't know i just don't know about that we'll have to see We'll have to see. All right, let's focus on what we're doing here first, though. Let's, let's put the buzz droids on Anakin. It almost worked last time. Ooh, buff immunity also. That's nice. All right, there goes Anakin. And then here comes the cleanse. And the turn meter. And hopefully the mass assist. Hopefully we get some assists. One assist. And... We have to attack him. We might as well stun him. Sunfac taking the hit. Thank you, Sunfac. All right, who's he bringing? Same plan as before. So let's do the same thing we did before. Put the buzz droids here. And then try to get him into the red. Uh, let's go ahead and let Anakin kill himself. Oh, he didn't kill himself. Oh, perfect. Look at this. Let's not even bring in Spy. Let's just go for the AoE. Boom! Two for one. Two for one on that bad boy. I love it. We still have Spy in the tank. This is going well. This is going much better than before. Buzz droids here. Dodged. Doggone it. Okay, let's go ahead and try to clear off this life. Here. Buzz droids. Don't dodge it. Okay. Good. All we can do is the basic. So let's try to stun him. 
No stun. Resisted. Resisted. And here comes Flo. Hmm. All right, we're going to need you guys to kill off somebody so we can bring in Spy. That's what we need. We need you to kill off somebody so we can bring in Spy. Sunpack looks like a good option. I'm just throwing a suggestion out there. Sunpack seems like a good option. Put some buzz rights out there. Definitely, we want to get some buzzies out there. All right. Um, let's get some turn meter for our team. There we go. Just a basic. Look, he's not taking any damage. He's taking like no damage. There we go. Sunfax gone. Now I need to make sure that I don't spawn a vulture droid. I want to spawn this. Let's we'll just do a little damage. Oh, I thought he was dazed. Oh, because we cleansed. Okay, here we go. Don't spawn a vulture droid. Call in the spy. Now the spy is not going to call assist because of all these dazes. This big hit might still be worth it. 80,000. Okay, that, that was worth it. That was worth it. That was worth it. While he's got defense down, let's go ahead and go after him. Ahsoka, yikes. Here comes the ultimate pretty soon, I'm pretty sure. Let's try to keep going after Houndstooth while we can. Ooh, good, 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 good. Ultimate. Let's get him out. Get out, Houndstooth. Get out. Fives. Get out. Plo. Yes, and he's stunned, so he can't call the, uh... Let's not put Buzz Droids. We don't want her to get the, the Retribution. Now we can put Buzz Droids if we get an opportunity. This is feeling like a W, you guys. This is feeling like a W. Just a basic. Here we go. Spy for the win! I love it. I love it. Alright, let's get into this Grand Arena. We're going straight after the hard fight first. If we lose this, it's probably the Grand Arena. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. It all comes down to this, you guys. It all comes down to this. We have to win. The Geos have to win against Jedi Knight Revan. Now, why does Geos have a chance against Jedi Knight Revan? First of all, Jedi Knight Revan has a lot of buffs. And if you have the Zeta on Brood Alpha's lead ability then you uh, get extra damage on your basics for every buffed opponent. So right here, uh, basic abilities of Geos deal 10% more damage for each buffed enemy. So that's a small help against Jedi Knight Revan. Two, the reason that Geos stand a chance is because there are no tanks here, so we can go right after Yoda. Yoda's gonna be the squishiest one of the three and uh, let's do soldier and then spy. Yoda's going to be the squishiest one of the three. So we can go after Yoda and hopefully kill him and then kill Jolie and then go back and kill Yoda again. That's the hope. Now, depending on who he marks and how hard he hits, we'll see how this goes. Okay. Okay, we're still alive. They're doing lots of turns, though. Lots of turns. All right, let's pop a heal. We can't go after Yoda right now, so we're going to try to go after the next squishiest one, who is Jedi Knight Revan. You definitely don't want to go after um, Jolie, because he is not squishy. All right, a basic should give Spy Turn Meter. There's Savior. Okay, now what's our play here? We're going to try to get out Jolie. Ooh, we got a crit. That's good. That's good. Yeah, give us those buffs so that we have the extra damage. Okay, there goes Joe Lee. So even if we lose now, we have a chance for cleanup here. Yoda keeps stealing that stealth. It's very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Ooh, don't don't kill him. I need him. I need him badly. He's two turns away from a heal, too. All right, we're going after Jedi Knight Revan. Get him out. Yes! Spy for the win! Spy MVP over here, you guys. All right. If we can get one more turn, we might be able to at least get our health back. I don't think we're going to get one more turn, though. Yoda just is too squishy, but that's fine. Oh, we got we got four full health for three of us. Nice. Nice. We got full health back, so we didn't lose, we didn't lose our health banners. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Now, Hux. Hux and his First Order friends. Now, he's not going to allow... 
any turn meter gain. So we need to think what team could possibly kill him that doesn't rely on turn meter gain. I'm seeing Grievous. He's a turn meter team. Uh, Vader with Palpatine is a turn meter team. Bosk. There's not a lot of damage on this team. I think Bosk might have a chance here. They have a tank who is hard to kill. I think Bosk might be the answer. Let's see here. Uh, Bounty Hunters. Let's bring in Zam and Mando. Now they can kill, they got enough damage to kill Zam and Mando, but if I can keep Bosk taunting, we'll be okay. The problem is with him tanking, we're gonna, we're gonna have a hard time getting our contract. The plan is to use Mando to call an assist on whoever's the weakest so that we can um, disintegrate. All right, let's give it a shot, you guys. I think we have a chance. I'm not sure if this is the right call, but I think we have a chance. Let's try it. Let's try it. Uh, Intimidation says I should have used General Grievous. I should have looked. Thrawn lead Vader. I should have considered that. Thrawn lead is a lot of turn meter, though. All right, let's go ahead and do this, and then we'll do that. And then now we can call. Oh, that's that's uh, turn meter. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and call her. Yeah, stay stay thick. Stay thick, boss. All right, so we have to attack the tank. Nothing we can do. Uh, let's see if we can make the tank the weakest. Maybe we can attack him enough. Let's go ahead and attack First Order Officer with... Uh, with Mando. Oh, whoops. Dug on it. Okay, focus. Focus, Padawan. Focus. He's not healing, so that's good. We're making slowly, but surely we're making progress. That tenacity up is no bueno. Ooh, the taunt is down. Let's take advantage of that. Yeah, we're making good progress here. Keep our taunt up. Now we're gonna have to be careful here because we will lose our taunt if the man, if the one with the that's weakest. Um, we will lose our taunt if the weakest one does not have protection. And we're still 70... <sighs> we're still too far away. Well, we're just going to be losing our taunt then. See, his he taunts for two turns, but then he'll refresh his taunt, Bosk will, if the weakest enemy still has protection, which they currently do not. Let's just keep going after him. There's the contract. We need to disintegrate this scallyway. Oh, I don't have the buff. Let's get it back. Hopefully Hux will not continuously dispel it from us. There we go. Boom. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's get the taunt back up. We need to focus on banner recovery. I should have used her special. Zam is here for her Omicron, but she's also here for the... Uh, for the heals. Under boss lead, every time you put debuffs out there, you get heals from it. All right, we're actually gonna disintegrate Hux. Let's, let's leave both people alive right now. We need to try to get these banners back. Gosh, it's looking less and less possible to get these banners back. Let's not disintegrate yet. I need to taunt with boss, and then let's not disintegrate yet. Let's try to get some heals. At least we want to get Zam back up. This will be a stun attempt, so it'll get a little heals. Uh, does she do any debuffs on her basic? I don't think. Trying to get those heals. Get back around to her turn. Save the disintegrate. Yikes. We're getting close to... Yeah, we can't get these heals. And now we've lost Mando's health. We need to just do it. Let's just do it. We're getting worse banners trying to trying to wait around. Can we get Mando's health back? Oh, not quite. Wait. 
Zam with a shot from the rifle to end it. General Grievous, even with Hux there, let's see here. Dom says, I was going to gear up Geos, but I don't need them anywhere, and all my opponents can counter them on both offense and defense since they all have strong teams. I got you. Geos, if you if you want to do Geos, you really got to go all in on them, uh, especially the Spy. The Spy is going to... Um, Let's just, let's just be a little crazy. Let's be a little crazy and use our General Kenobi. What do you think? Let's try what you guys said. We're going to bring in Anakin Ahsoka Houndstooth. We'll put the BTLB in the reinforcements along with Plo, definitely. There we go. There we go. That looks good. Uh, let's see here. Amazia says, There might be you masked on back. You might want to save disintegrate uh i should have i should have looked at that but i ended up needing disintegrate to get through that um gosh this is a very very low chance of this happening but can we get oh we got the buff immunity and he's gonna use taunt anyway Ooh, that's lucky all right let's go all in on anakin um let's put this on fives because we're gonna be leaving him around for a while yikes okay um Let's just see, can we go all in on Houndstooth while he can't get the purple protection? Oh, he, he dispelled himself. He dispelled himself. Uh, let's do this. And then just a basic here. Cleanse yourself, Houndstooth. Cleanse yourself. All right, who are we calling in? We're calling in fives. Fives is going to... Yeah, I think basic is the right call here. So we could take away that bonus protection. Don't be Plo. Okay, good. It's not Plo. Ah, oh, man. This would have probably killed Houndstooth right there. Um, let's try to apply target lock. Ooh, we got him. 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 All right. And let's do the... Uh, put this on Anakin. The offense up. That's unfortunate that they got that daze on us because we just put the counterattack on Ahsoka. Let's get him out of there. We need Anakin to take another turn and lose his unending loyalty before we kill him. There we go. Don't be Plo. It's Plo. Tug on it. And there goes the tank. All right, let's bring in our Plo. A little plo for plo action. Turn meter for the team. This is feeling like we got a chance, you guys, even against a much higher negotiator. Uh, let's take that taunt off of there so we can go back after Anakin. Once we kill Anakin, I think we're going to be out of the woods. All right, we're out of the woods. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and freshen up our tank here. Looking good. Oh, yeah, let's do this mass assist. Bye, 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 bye. This is fun, you guys. It's fun to have the negotiator. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. 124,000 damage from Ahsoka on a basic. You go, girl. That's awesome. That is awesome. Rank six. I love it. I love it. The last redneck gamer says hi. What is up, man? What is up? All right, so let's get back into the Grand Arena. Now, Amazia, you said there might be a Kylo Ren on mass on the back wall. I think he's actually in the bottom. And even if he's not, we're not getting through the bottom. Uh, we're going to try, obviously. But yeah, there he is. There he is. So obviously, if we were to try to get through the bottom, we would have needed our disintegrate down here. But my expectation and my hope is that he will not be able to get through our bottom zone, which on our bottom zone, we have our uh, our only Datacron <laughs> with our Padme team. And then we've got our brand new Baby Gas with uh, Rex and Fives, and then Mace with 3PO and Ahsoka. So hopefully between these three teams, he won't be getting through because of how heavy he went on defense. Now that means that if he gets through the North, which he certainly will, I don't think he's got the ships to beat my malevolence. So what this means is we have to get through the north and beat his ships if we're gonna have a chance here. We have to get through the north and beat his ships. All right. 
Uh, you guys feeling Imperial Troopers on this one? I'm just, I'm feeling, I'm feeling Imperial Troopery. I'm feeling Imperial Troopery. They're not that high gear. I should probably check their speeds, but screw that. <laughs> I'm going in with the Imperial Troopers. <laughs> oh, right, let's do it. Let's do it, and Gideon will take their turn meter away. Now, we get to kill each of these guys twice, which means the Imperial Troopers are going to get a lot of turn meter from these guys. We get a bunch of turn meter every time we kill somebody, and we get the uh, fortunate uh, opportunity to kill each of these guys twice. So we're going to go after... It looks like Mando. No, it looks like Boba Fett is going to be the weakest. All right, let's take their turn meter away. Excellent. Good start. Here we go. This is going to be our first kill. Excellent. Just a basic. There's our next kill. Let's put an armor shred over here on Django. Now, Django was the fastest, so he's going to be going next. So let's try to go ahead and try to kill him next. Excellent. Let's keep going. We got a bunch of turn meter from that kill. Now only one left. Let's daze him just in case he does something crazy and gets some turn meter for no reason. Just a basic. Mass assist. I should have saved that mass assist. Whoops. Should have saved the mass assist. Don't get a turn. Yes. Imperial troopers. Oh my gosh. They're amazing. The three officers. Veers, Piet, and Gideon. They get it done. Now let's see, what ships did he put in the back? And do we stand a chance against them? Oh boy. What is it? Oh, he put his both of his good fleets down. Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. Okay. Well, we might be in a pickle here, guys. If we can't get through these fleets and he can't get through our fleets, then we might be in a big pickle. This was a good play on his part. Imperial Troopers destroy. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. All right. Uh, finalizer up top. Mace down south, maybe? Or is Mace even on defense? On off? No, we don't. Uh, Mace is on defense. So we're going to try. <laughs> we're going to try. The Empire down here. We have the BTLB. Not the BTLB. We have the Imperial TIE Bomber, which is good against Rebels. Um, we should be able to go right after Anakin, which that would be nice. We're putting Soldier in here with them. We're putting Boba Fett. We'll put the BTLB and the Ghost, or we'll put a tank in case we need it. In case we need it. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck, you guys. We have to clear his ships in order to secure the win. I believe we will secure the win if we get both of these fleets. Will we get both of these fleets? I don't think so. We got to give it a shot. All right, we're going right after Anakin. Straight away. Basic. Got him. Nice. Okay. Can we ability block? That would be fantastic. Yes, this is going well. Okay. Okay. Put the burning on him. Beautiful. So he's ability blocked, which means he can't. He wasn't able to use his ability that time. Let's call in. Let's try to get the uh, Millennium Falcon out of here. Call the assist. Excellent, excellent, excellent. This is a easy peasy lemon squeezy. I brought way too much for this one. Okay, 71 banners. That's good. That's good. Let's try this other fleet with our first order fleet, you guys. They're gear 11 across the board. Do they stand a chance? Let's find out. Let's find out. Here we go. Maybe they won't attack. Even if they do attack, I still think we got a chance here. They went very heavy defense. Very heavy defense. Fleets and all, they just went heavy defense. Okay. We are going to try to stun. Uh, we're going to do it this way. Whoops, that was the wrong button. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm already screwing up. Slow down. Take your time. We're going to put marked. We're going to put hunted on his crew. Um, just a basic. We need to get advantage. Take some turn meter away. That sucks, but that's okay. They're killing my tank. All right, let's try this again. 
this ability. No, we're just going to give it straight to him. Give it to crew. See if we can take out their crew. Got it. That's good. All right, we're going to go after their uh, Vader next. Which one is this? First Order TIE Fighter. This is Special Forces. This is the one we want. We're going to call crew to assist with this ability. Hopefully stunning Vader. Got the stun. Beautiful. Can we get the stun over here? Yes, crew, you're a magician. I can't even say the word. Okay, perfect. Now we can dispel all these shenanigans. Boom. I love that ship. All right, our tank did his job, and he's out of here. Can we get Vader out of here? Vader is out of here. That's gear 11 crew, you guys. Gear 11 crew is doing that work. All right, let's see. Can we stun Boba Fett? Man, he's on fire today. Crew's on fire today. All right, let's see if we can get this ship out of here because it hit pretty hard. Another stun. Another stun. There we go. This is feeling like we have a chance, you guys. I don't want to count my chickens before they're hatched, but uh, let's bring in our last reinforcement. Put the target lock. Hit him with the strafe. 48,000. Get him out before he takes a turn. Beautiful. That was with offense down. 82,000 on the crit. That was with offense down. This fleet is awesome, you guys. This fleet is awesome. Oh, boy. Uh, just the basics should take him out. Can we stun him? Yes! We got the stun. All right, let's put the hunted on him. This looks like we secured the win, you guys. Let's uh, give it to crew so that he can go out in a blaze of glory. 233,000 damage, you guys. Oh, with a gear 11 pilot on that ship. That is nice. That is nice. Dom says, I'm going to go now since I'm going to go sleep in a bit. So bye all. Have a good night, my friend. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. All right, let's do fleet, regular fleet battle. And then we're going to see what can we do about that south wall. But I already think, I think we got the W. I think we got the W on that one. It just depends on what he's able to do. All right. This is risky, but you know what? Sometimes you just got to have fun. You got to go in here and have fun and hope for the best. We're going to try to get rank two with our negotiator fleet. Here we go, you guys. You ready? You ready? I'm ready. I'm hopeful. What's going to happen first? Ahsoka goes first. Who should we attack first? We need to go straight after one of these tanks. I'm thinking Sunfac. In fact, let's see. Can we... Oh, just a basic. We don't want to put the buff immunity on him. We want to kill him. Uh, let's try to get the debuff over here. The breach, we got it. Good. So now our tank will be taunting for a while. Mmm, that's not good. That's not good. Um, can we do this? Yes. All right. Let's do the mass assist. We gotta, we gotta use, uh, we gotta bring Plo in here before we lose our tank. We might be losing our tank here, you guys. Uh, this will be good. Yes. Plo, 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 Plo. There we go. There we go, Plo. All right, we're back in business. Turn meter for the team. Heal yourself, Houndstooth. They got a Houndstooth of their own. Can we get him out? Okay, good. Sunfac is done. Sunfac is done, but our Houndstooth is not hanging in. Let's freshen him up here. All right, let's give the offense up to Anakin. All right. We, it's all we can do. We use a basic right here. Uh, if we get the buff immunity now, can we capitalize on it at all? Not really. So let's just use a basic. Heal yourself, Houndstooth. Houndstooth heals himself on a basic when he's taunting. It's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, just a basic again. And then let's bring in fives. 
Yeah, we'll bring in fives. And we'll do a big hit so that we can damage this other tank over here as well. All right, now we want to try to get the buff immunity with Anakin. Just a basic. Get some retribution out there. Buff immunity with Anakin. Did not work unless I targeted the wrong person, which I may well have. Oh man, our Houndstooth is hanging in. Ooh, and now it's going to be counterattacking. Ooh, and it's cleansing itself every time. Ooh, this is not good. I'm giving them too much turn meter. I'm giving them too much turn meter. Man, he's back up to full. Beautiful. Beautiful. Anakin, I'm going to need you to do something about this Houndstooth, baby bubba. I need you to do something about this Houndstooth. You know what I'm saying? I need you to pull some Anakin stuff. Or Ahsoka. You can pull some Ahsoka stuff. Oh, Ahsoka for the win. Let's do a big hit over here on Spy. Oh, my gosh, you guys. You see that? Oh, my gosh. Ahsoka did the one shot on Spy. Ahsoka one shotted Spy right out of here. That was bonkers. That was bonkers. All right, what do we? What, what 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 does the basic do? Grant target ally critical hit immunity. Well, we're gonna do that to our tank. Man, Ahsoka with this retribution is so mean. We did it, you guys, with our negotiator fleet. We did it. Oh, that's awesome. GM Dan says put the Umbar and Starfighter in your starting lineup. He does offense down and defense down on the basic. I've heard that that is really good. So that would be Anakin, Fives, and Bosk in the starting three. Okay. I might try that uh, tomorrow when we have more refreshes. Let's get back into this Grand Arena and see what we can do, if we can do anything at all in the South Wall. Ahsoka is putting in work is absolutely right, Brian. Absolutely right. That is definitely good. Dan, is that the, the lineup that you use with Fives, uh, Bosk, and Anakin? All right, this First Order Omicron. I like that there's not a tank here because we can go right after him. Let's just do this one first. This one seems like the one that we might have some say-so about here. We're going to bring in Grievous because they're going to get a lot of speed. But we're going to get bonus turns, which will kind of counteract that speed. We're going to, when they kill IG-88, which hopefully they'll kill IG-88 first, then Grievous is going to get bonus turns. So let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot in here. All right, Dan says that's the lineup that he uses. I hope that that does really well for you, sir. Thank you for the wisdom from experience. Ooh, perfect. Just what we were hoping for. And I believe this can't be evaded. Yes. So we're going to do this. Now this can be evaded, but that's okay. We get the foresight off. We want to kill the guy with the um, Omicron. Could this be evaded? Nope. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Can this be evaded? Probably. Nope. Okay, nice. So at least we got the Omicron out. The Omicron is out which means that we can clean it up. But I'm hoping we won't need to clean it up. Grievous, you're making me proud, man. For the first time in 3v3, you did something good. You did something good, my baby. All right. Now, crew and Darth Revan. Darth Revan, we don't stand a chance. Um, crew. We don't have enough damage. We don't have enough damage left over. We possibly could have done something else up north. But uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to bring in Palpatine, Thrawn, and Mara Jade. Not because they're going to win, but just because I want to see, can they hang in against this team? Can they control them? the whole time so let's see how that goes empire because i just don't think i've got anything that can actually get through that crew um 
So let's give this a shot. Sean Gibb is in the chat. Hey, Padawan, great to see you. How often do you wash those robes? I have washed them once. <laughs> I've washed them once in over a year. I always wash, oh my goodness. Yeah, this, yeah, okay, let's back out of this. I think that's it, I think that's it for this grand arena, you guys. There's one more thing we could do up here. We're gonna try Vader up north. Vader, and we'll bring, uh, what's her face? Talon, where's she at? Here she is. And we'll bring, I don't know, we'll bring TIE Fighter Pilot. Or no, we'll leave TIE Fighter Pilot for, no, let's bring TIE Fighter Pilot. Okay. This is my last chance and it's not gonna do anything, but just in case, here we go. Yeah, I always take a shower right before the stream and I wear these robes for just only a couple of hours, but the one time I did wash them, they took some damage. So I need to get them dry clean, I think, next time. I think I need to get them dry clean. All right, let's go ahead and strip off the foresight. Uh, I'm gonna do the Merciless Massacre. Let's force crush on him. We're gonna throw at him. Ooh, yikes. And then basic on her. Basic on her. Oh, we got a kill. Hmm. Now it's over. <laughs> now it's over. <laughs> All right, well, we got a kill. That's another banner. It might come down to one banner. Sometimes that's the way you gotta look at it. All right, well, kudos to our opponent. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice over here, you guys. Kudos to our opponent for having an amazing defense. We gave it our best shot. I am happy with how we did. I think that that went pretty well. And I'm hoping that he does worse than we did. He's got some good Datacrons. Congratulations on him for going after those Datacrons. And I'm hoping, let's just see what, what does our Datacron do. I tell you one thing that it does, and it's not doing anything in this grand arena, but <clears throat> in Territory Wars, it um, it makes C-3PO use his courage, which is really cool. Let's look and see what it does. Whenever Galactic Republic allies inflict a debuff on an enemy during their turn, they deal bonus damage equal to 10% of that enemy's max health. Well, when C-3PO does his expose or confuse or whatever, he will actually use his courage while he's doing that. And people don't expect that. Um, so I've got whenever light side allies gain a buff, they recover health and protection and then this extra bonus damage. So hopefully that will hold. Hopefully, oh, hopefully that will hold. I might need to um, try like Anakin and Kenobi down here with Mace and put 3PO and Ahsoka up here with Padme, maybe. But Anakin and Padme, it's hard to break them up. It's hard to break them up. And it's good to have a tank with them, too. Um, all right, so that is it for that. Now, there's one thing that we were going to do that we haven't done. So let's do it now. Not the guild event. That's not what I meant to click on. That's the general Anakin Skywalker character spotlight. <clears throat> now, we got him to seven stars now. Let's go ahead and look at his kit. We're going to start with his leadership, and then we're going to get into a battle and showcase the other abilities here. So let's look at his leadership ability. It is a leadership ability <laughs> that has a lot going on, but it's primarily has to do with the 501st. So anybody who's in the 501st can benefit from this uh, leadership ability. Also, it has a blanket. Nobody can be revived from this leadership ability. Nobody can be revived as long as he's in the lead on your team or their team. Whenever an enemy gains a buff, all 501st allies gain 2% offense stacking until the end of the encounter. While there are other active 501st allies, Skywalker does this mechanic where he taunts and he can't be killed until everybody else is dead. Uh, he cannot drop below 100% health. He advances if he's at 100% of protection and takes cover if he has 0% protection. <clears throat> I'm sorry about my voice, you guys. Let's see if I can drink a little water. Okay. <clears throat> he removes all other status effects when he takes cover, and when he leaves cover, 
He recovers 100% protection, takes a bonus turn, and when all uh, and takes a bonus turn when all other first order five five oh first allies are defeated. When he's advancing, he's taunting, and other allies can't lose health. Other five oh first allies. When he's in cover, he can't be targeted. He's immune to damage and status effects. His speed is set to zero, and he recovers 10% protection and turn meter at the end of every turn, no matter if it's their turn or your turn. But if it's 501st allies, it's doubled. So you really want him to be with the 501st. Let's get into this. Uh, this is the best testing ground I have, the Galactic Challenge. It's not a great testing ground, and I really don't know which tier we should try. Maybe this tier? Let's see. Let's see here. So we're going to look at uh, 501st. We're going to put in gas as the lead. We're not going to run Ahsoka. We are going to run. We're going to put fives last, right? Put fives last. Rex first, I think. Fives last. I think that's how it goes. I truly don't know. My cast is gear eight. So not doing a whole lot um, at gear eight. But we'll see. We're going to get to see the mechanics of how he works. So who gets to go first? Rex gets to go first. We're going to give turn meters to the team. Now that might not be the right move based on what's about to happen. Um, once my gas is higher up, he's going to be worth calling to assist. I'm going to go ahead and call him to assist now. Just out of practice. And we're going to try to do some damage to Nihilus, I guess. All right. Um, let's throw a bomb. And let's put the turret on Rex. Okay, here comes Gas's turn. Now, Gas has three abilities that you can use. He's got this ability right here, Force Grip. Force Grip deals physical damage to all enemies. So this is an AoE attack, and it dazes them. And if they have Armor Shred, it will critically hit enemies, if possible with armor shred if this is the first ability he uses during his turn he resets sundering strikes cooldown and uses it if, if possible and i was told recently that you always want to do grip first and then that does strike after that and the reason is because this sundering strike will deal physical damage let's get the music going here this Sundering Strike will deal physical damage to the target enemy. So this is an AoE. This is a single target. It'll deal physical damage to the target enemy, inflict Armor Shred, and if they're dazed, it does double damage. And this ability right here dazes them. So let's try it. We're gonna try with the daze first, and then we put the Armor Shred out there. Nice. All right, Nihilus is down. Nihilus is down. Now we have to go here gas counters wow he's at gear eight he's doing all right all right now we're gonna go after we're gonna save the execute for trey let's call gas to assist again with his basic counter attack now gas is about to go into cover all right let's keep going after scion Uh, we can't call gas to assist, and we don't want to taunt right now, so let's just use a basic. Oof, big damage. Same thing here. Gas is back up, you guys, and now he's back at full protection. Boom! Gas with the big damage, you guys, with his basic. Let's see what his basic does next time we come around to it. All right, let's call gas to assist. All right, let's get back to gas's turn so we can look at him. Oh, he's isolated now. So we can't call him to assist. Let's call Echo to assist. All right, we need to do another cleanse with uh, Rex as soon as possible so that we can get rid of this. We can get rid of all these dots. They're killing us. 
Um, let's call Echo so we can give some charm meter to the team. Big damage from fives. All right, gas is down again. All right, let's get all these, uh, get turn meter for us. I guess fives just, gas, I guess Rex just died from the dots and that's why uh, fives sacrifice. Let's throw a bomb. Let's give the turret over to Rex. And let's give one more turn to gas so that we can, uh-oh. Okay, here we go. Let's look at this basic. I've got the Zeta on it. So let's see what it does. Deal physical damage to the target enemy. This attack can't be evaded and has 65% defense penetration, tripled if all allies are 501st. So this basic has a lot of defense penetration, 195% if all allies are 501st. If this is the first ability he uses during his turn, he immediately uses telekinesis. Well, telekinesis is not an ability we can select. Let's see what it is. Telekinesis deals physical damage to the target enemy. If possible, this attack will critically hit enemies with armor shred. If the target is dazed, reduce General Skywalker's ability cooldowns by one. So this will really help you reduce your cooldowns if they are dazed. So that's really why you want that daze out there. If you can get that daze out there, it's going to be good stuff. And once we get back to Rex, oh, we don't even need it. So there we go. There is the gas. Um character spotlight oh look we got <laughs> we got a little bit of a feat for it there um so just something that's interesting you guys about the gas character he is like a raid boss when they put him in the game they made him like a raid boss he has a topple effect where you have to topple him he takes two turns every time he takes a turn he either does um Sundering, he does Force Grip and Sundering Strike. Sundering Strike and Force Grip or Furious Slash and Telekinesis. But that's not all that's going on with him. Let's look at the Chosen One here. This is what I'm talking about. He uses an extra ability during his turn, just like a raid boss does. Whenever General Skywalker critically hits an enemy during his turn, increase their cooldowns by one. This is so huge. It doesn't work against raid bosses in Galactic Legends, and it cannot be resisted. So you want him to crit. If he is critically hit, he dispels all debuffs on himself, and enemies attacking out of turn cannot critically hit. If the target enemy has no protection, when Skywalker uses an ability, he reduces their current max health by 20% for the rest of the battle. This ability does so many things. And this can't be resisted. And then Hero with no fear, this is the last part of his kit. At the start of battle, he gains 25% defense, 15% max protection, and 25% tenacity for each other 501st ally until all other 501st allies are defeated. This makes him thicker than a snicker for defense and max protection and makes him hard to debuff with 100% tenacity. If all allies are 501st at the start of battle, he gains the following. 100% counter chance and 50% critical chance. When all other allies are defeated, Skywalker can't be critically hit and gains 35% turn meter after every turn. He's a monster, you guys. He's a bonkers monster, and he's ours now. He's ours at seven stars, and after we get Droidica up, he is going to be our next gearing project, and I am so excited to get him up to Relic 7. I'm going to be taking him all the way to 7, and then someday we'll probably be taking him up to Relic 8 after we, uh, after we get some relegate materials i guess i don't know maybe some other galactic legend requirements first all right rank two in fleet 375 we didn't have to spend any crystals to make those crystals and we are now sitting right at 12,000 crystals for the day this has been another episode of i don't know free to play padawans journey through journey to greatness and uh, i'm having a lot of fun with you guys i'm super excited to hear that datacrons are not ruining your enjoyment of the game. And the fact that uh, some of you guys are having positive experiences with datacrons helps me to look at it through a different light as well. Let's all help each other get through this transition because like I say, datacrons are here to stay. And even though I don't like them, that doesn't mean they're going away and I need to figure out how to make them work for me and to what extent 
is beneficial for us to go after them. Um, so anyway, you guys, I stream Wednesdays and Fridays at 5 p.m. Eastern. And actually, I'm going to tell you guys this now. I'm going to tell you next week as well that my, they're changing my schedule at work. And I'm going to be starting to stream, unfortunately, only on Fridays. I'm not going to be able to stream on Wednesdays anymore. Uh, but what I am going to try to do is I'm going to be trying to put out a short video every week instead of that Wednesday stream. So there'll be some Padawan content out there that's not two hours long. So that'll be good. Uh, there's a channel in the Discord called Video Ideas under the Hey Padawan section. If there's a video idea that you want me to try to do, I'm not saying I'm, I'm not promising I'm going to do everything you put in there, but it'll give me some good stuff to say what does the community need to know what do they need to hear and what is the most helpful information that i can put out there so if you have any ideas that you want me to put together a video hopefully i'll be able to start putting together some short videos even though i'll only be able to stream once a week ryan uh last redneck gamer says i am back yes master <laughs> brian thompson great stream pad one see you later see you my friend brian always glad to see you why i thought you were talking to me my bad no it's all good it's all good redneck you're good man all right well i had fun tonight hanging out with you guys i don't know what's going to happen in this grand arena but i will post it in the discord after the final results are in so that you guys can see what happened and until next time i want you all to remember that jesus loves you